How you feeling, pal? What you have? Same thing? Coming up. There you are. Huh? I don't know what's with the guy with the pipes. I'm putting in a new system. Kegs. Well, how you feeling, pal? Hear about Duddy Duddleson? Back in the hospital? Yeah, he's going under a major operation. He's going to have a tooth removed. <laughs> well, I know that don't sound like a major operation, but you see, Duddy was in a fight, and this tooth is being taken out of his arm. <laughs> he sure is a nut, that guy. Did you hear about the job that Crazy Guggenham got? Yeah, Alderman Patty Noto got it for him. Well, it was with the circus. Well, he had it a whole week. Well, he gets in the cannon, and they shoot him out of the cannon. <laughs> it's the only job he could keep and get loaded on at the same time. <laughs> oh, say, you should have been here the other day, Mr. Bellahy. The whole mob was in. And we challenged that Grogan's Bar and Grill, you know, down the street, to a football game. Well, Mr. Dunahy, I'm telling you, just before we left for the field, they all gathered here, the whole mob. Moriarty, the undertaker, Fatso Fogarty, Gaylord Farquhar, <laughs> Teddy Jalanza, and uh, you should have seen the outfit that that Jimmy Prost walked in here with. I'm telling you, he had shin guards on, he had the shin nose thing, he had things for the ears to protect the ears and everything. I said, look, pal, this isn't going to be that rough a game. He says, I know. He says, but my wife don't want me to play, and if she should show up at the field, I want to be ready for it. <laughs> well, just before we start going, who should walk in but Muriel Van Bushkite? Yeah, she walks in with a goat. She says, this will be the mascot. I says, uh, hey, Muriel, where'd you get the goat? She says, oh, my father brought him about a, about a year ago. She got, he, he got it. I said, well, what does he want with the goat? She says, well, you know my father. He's too lazy to walk downstairs with the garbage. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, Crazy Guggenham comes marching in, and you ought to have seen his uniform. He's got on a sweatshirt, dirty dungarees, stuck into his stockings, a dirty old hat, and a white carnation on him. So I says, what's the idea of the carnation there, Crazy? He says, well, right after the game, I'm going to rush right over to my sister's wedding. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, that boy. Well, anyway, he starts out first. He went in one of uh, Moriarty the Undertaker's uh, hearses, you know. He's laying down in the back there. Almost caused seven accidents. Well, as he's riding down toward the football field, every now and then he sits up and waves at people, you know. <laughs> we all went in a bus. And we're just getting into the bus, and all of a sudden, Muriel starts to pile in with the goat. So Fatso Fogarty says, wait a minute, you can't bring that goat in here. What about the swell? She says, oh, he'll get used to it. <laughs> about that? Well, we get down to the field. No sooner that we get there, there's a big argument about who's going to start the game and kick off. Fatso says, I'll kick off. Teddy Jalanza says, I'll kick off. Moriarty says, if anybody's going to do it me, nobody knows more about kicking off than I do. <laughs> well, the game starts. I'm telling you, it was really rough. We're knocking each other about, and all of a sudden, Rippy, he gets knocked out, and he's laying on a field. Well, we all run up to him, and somebody says, force his mouth open and force some whiskey down his throat. And Muriel, you know, she thinks she knows about first aid. She says, no, no, no. She says, put some water down his throat. And the guy says, no. He says, pour a little whiskey down. She said, no, water. All of a sudden, Rinty sat up and he says, will you shut your big trap, Muriel? <laughs> well, we won the game anyway, Mr. Donahue. Yeah, we fractured him. We came home and another one of Mr. Moriarty's uh, hearses, you know, one that holds a big group. We're all laying down on the back and we got a big sign on the side of the hearse that says, we won. <laughs> well, we stopped for a light and the cop looks in. He said, if they won, I'd hate to see the losers. <laughs> Well, you know what the prize was? Well, the prize was that whoever loses the game sets up drinks for everybody. Well, Grogan's lost, so we're all over there. I want to tell you, I never saw anything like that in my life. Cauliflower ears, turned over noses, split lips. I never saw a crowd of dames like that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> we're in there, and...
And uh, Grogan walks up to Gaylord Farquhar, and he says, how about you and I having a little beer together? So Gaylord says, if you don't mind, I don't care for any beer. So Grogan says, well, how would you like some punch? And Gaylord says, I'll have that, and Grogan let him have it, right? This <laughs> well, he's laying out on the floor, so we drag him outside in the sidewalk to give him some air. Now, Gaylord comes through, and he's steaming, Mr. Donahue. He says, I'm going back in there, and he says, I'm going to fracture everybody. So Patsy Fogarty, his cousin, says, do you want me to go in and help? He says, no, pal. He says, you just stand out here and count them as they fly out. <laughs> well, he comes in, and all of a sudden, boom, a body flies out. Patsy says, one. Gaylord says, shut up, it's me. <laughs> but it was a good time. We came over here after it was all over. That bat so Fogarty walked away with Muriel Van Buskirk. You know, that's Renty's girl. He's going nuts all the time thinking about her. We got a record in here that he plays all the time thinking about it. Would you put a nickel in number eight, please, Mr. Donahue? That's it, pal. Right in there. Thank you. <laughs> You made me what I am today I hope you're satisfied You dragged and dragged me down Until the soul within me died the stars although you're not true may God bless you that's the curse of an aching By the way, pal, I got some of your tabs here. I, uh... Oh, you ain't got any money? That's okay, pal. See you the next time. Watch out for those swinging doors. Oh, wait! <laughs>